Good morning, everybody. Well, today we are going to do something a little different. We have another uh, Jim Dandy to do. This one's all black. You can see it's brand new. It's got the paper on there. And this is for a gentleman in Texas, and his name is Jack. This time we're going to do something a little different. I've never done it before. But we are going to attempt to install a black Bigsby Vibrato tailpiece on it. And I haven't done this before, so this ought to be pretty interesting, and it should sound pretty cool, and I may just have to keep this guitar. But before I get going, I'm gonna start my morning with a breakfast beverage, Diet Coke. Diet Coke in a Chucky's Huggy gets me going in the morning, and I stay going all day long. I drink about 15 of these a day. Remember, if you're feeling kind of sluggish, Diet Coke in a Chucky's Huggy. We're not gonna go through the same process. I already have a video of me doing a Jim Dandy, so I'll speed some things up. And uh, of course, first we take the keys and the strings off. This time we're going to take the uh, <clears throat> bone plastic uh, saddle out because we're going to replace the saddle with brass. Seeing how we're going to put a vibrato on it, I want the brass saddle to tip back and forth. If we try to do that with a plastic or a bone one, it would crack the saddle eventually. So we're going to replace this with brass. Now we're going to knock out those. On this guitar, we're going to be installing <clears throat> black mini grovers, okay? And people ask me on a step bit how far I go into it. So I go ahead and I take it down to the one, two, three, four, fifth. The fifth one, okay, on your step bit, the fifth setting there. I can tell you what it is if I looked at it. But <clears throat> you go down there and then you flip a guitar over to the other side and then take a round rat tail file and take out the center of it and the, the keys fit perfectly right in there. So that's what I use. After putting some blocks inside of it, so the screws have something to screw into, I put an extra hole in the tailpiece because there is a block down here also. So we've got one, two, three, four, five screws holding our Bigsby on. Should be pretty neat. Okay, you can see our hole here I made for the input jack. And I believe on your step drill, that's the third, third one down from the end of the, of the step drill. It, it just makes a perfect hole every time. So we're gonna take soft electrical solder, pull some out here, and we're gonna put, first we'll put our nut on there. See how easy that was? Put our nut on there. <laughs> there we go. Put our little washer on there. Okay, now we're going to stick the solder through the input jack hole we made. 
We're going to reach inside the guitar and pull it through. We're going to take the input jack, put the solder through the input jack, and then we're going to bend the, in, the solder over and make a little hook out of it. So now we've got our solder on a little hook. We pull this back through. There's our thread sticking up. Let our washer and our nut slide down. Fall into place. Give it a couple soft turns, supposedly. We just want it to start that thing. We want to pull too hard, we want to start it. Feels like it started. Yeah, it did. Pull the solder out. Now, it started on there. You can reach in the thing sometimes with your finger. And you can... Now, I can't reach it on this one. Okay, so what we got to do is we got to get a few more turns on our nut there. So... There we go. Now, the threads are starting to show on the other side. And once you get the thread sticking up on the input jack there, we can take something, anything like a needle nose or even these here snips will do it. And just hang on just to the threads. And as you're hanging on to the threads there, you can take a small wrench and if you get the right size, let's find out what size this is. Oh, okay, it's a half inch. All right, that's cool. So, evidently, it's half inch threads on the input jack. I'm hanging onto the thread so that the jack doesn't turn on the inside of the guitar. Now, you want this really tight, but you don't want to over tighten it. Okay, that's never coming out. To make sure my trademark, this is Midnight Madness uh, Foo Foo Parlay uh, fingernail polish. And put a little bit of Midnight Madness fingernail polish on the threads themselves. And then vibration and you knocking your guitar around over the years. It works like Loctite, except it's a little easier to get off. But strong enough, <laughs> made for a woman, but strong enough for your guitar, okay? All right. So, there we go. Now we take our step drill, and one, two, three. It's the third step up on, on this Harbor Freight step drill. And that perfectly fits, that perfectly fits our holes in the top of our guitar. I do the uh, tone first. So reach inside the guitar with my, my tone pot, put it through there, and it made the perfect size hole. And drop a washer over that. Put the nut on top of it and tighten it down. Now, get your hand out of it. We're going to put the volume pot in the same way. Now, if you've got big old fat arms, you can't do this. I'm almost there to the big old fat arm uh, size. So anyhow, here we go again. This time we're going to do the volume pot. Got it. Okay. Put the washer on. Put your retainer nut on. And 
get it started, tighten it down a little bit, take your wrench, tighten it down. You won't need any Loctite on this. These crank down into the guitar pretty good. So there is our volume and tone control. Instead of the black chicken head knobs, Jack wanted black metal dome knobs. Now these are cost me a little more than the chicken head knobs. So that's what we're going to put on there. Okay, we got our knobs on there. We have our Bigsby tailpiece. And next thing is the pickup. This next little trick was for Ken Williamson, who uh, said, hey, you left the wire red. Well, not anymore. I took this black magic marker and I painted the red wire black. <laughs> so there you go. Now we got two black wires in here. Are you happy, Ken? use the screws that I got with the kit because they're beveled to meet the guitar real good. They go right inside of the pickup holder. Now I'm going to go ahead and snug them up right now, but we'll loosen them up when we adjust the pickup. Oh, mama. Magic marker, paint and wires. Okay. Quite lovely. Okay, we are 99.9% .9 almost done. And now it's time for the pig test. Take one of my pig nose. These things are great for the shop. Put the old pig in here. Plug our guitar in. And take a metal screwdriver. We'll turn the volume and tone down. Nothing. Turn the volume up. Oop, sounds like a zero. Trouble sounded. Oh yeah. Working perfect, guys. <laughs> 